um, Missy with uh, MissyStuperch.com and the Missy Stuperch blog. And sorry, I don't have all the fancy stuff set up, so I have to walk around to make this work. Um, today, so let me do a little backstory real quick. I am, am 32 weeks pregnant and I have been craving cookies, which is a terrible thing to crave when you're pregnant. Well, I found this recipe and it is for these raspberry thumbprint cookies and I was going to make them at Christmas. And then I didn't make them at Christmas <laughs> because I made a million other types of cookies. Anyways. So I really wanted some and sometimes, honestly, I, I never use store-bought cookie mix. I just don't. I have been baking for close to 20 years and I just feel like if I'm going to bake, I've always got flour, I've always got baking powder, eggs, you know, most of the things that you need, sugar, I've always got everything. So why am I going to buy a $4 package of mix? You know. Um, however, <laughs> being pregnant and tired and not able to stand on my feet for a long uh, amount of time, I was like, I want to make these thumbprint cookies, I'm going to do it my way. So what I have done here is I have bought a package of sugar cookie mix, okay? This is just going to be a really quick video. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time. Um, just to show you, you know, if you if you want some cookies and a pinch and some kind of fancy ones, then this is a good recipe. Um, I've got clean hands, obviously. So what I'm doing is I'm picking the little chunks, the squares of cookie dough. I've had this sitting out for probably about 10 minutes, so they're a little softer than I like. But I have a hack for that, too. So I'm just going to make these into little patties. Little cookie, little cookie patties. Taking the, the dough, which is again a little too soft for my preference, but what we can do is after we get these together, put them in the freezer and they will harden up and that way they won't melt and spread out so much. That's a little cookie hack. Some of you may already know that, some of you may not, but if you have sugar cookie dough or any kind of cookie dough really, and you want them to keep their shape, you can pop them in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the dough type you use, before you put them in the oven, and they will stay more together and not spread out into one giant sheet cookie. So yeah, so that's all I'm doing is I'm taking these little blocks of cookies, whatever cookie dough you want, store brand, whatever brand you like. I mean, you could do these with any kind of cookie dough, really. I know they have snickerdoodle cookie dough, chocolate chip, all kinds um, out there now that you can get. All right, so we're making little circles. I'm gonna move this around so you guys can see. All right, we're just gonna start with four right now because I don't need a million. So I'm gonna flatten them out a little. I've got parchment and this is my uh, Pampered Chef stoneware baking pan. Use whatever baking pan you want, doesn't matter. Dollar Tree, Walmart, it doesn't matter. Get your baking pan. I just like to use parchment paper because it's easier for cleanup and they won't stick. So now what I have is a raspberry filling, a fruit filling. Can I make fresh fruit filling? Absolutely. But who wants to strain raspberry seeds from the filling? Not me. <laughs> so I've got a raspberry fruit spread and I've got a little, this is um, a mini cookie dough scoop. It's also Pampered Chef. You can get them anywhere. But I'll put some links in the comments in case you guys want to um, order some and make it easy and not to go shopping. So I have filled this little scoop up about halfway because I've found that that is more than enough to give these a, their little kind of, sorry, put your little thumb in there, make a little hole for the thumbprint. Um, but this filling, the consistency sits right on top so you really don't have to make a well for it necessarily. All right, so we're just going to scoop a little raspberry filling into each of these. It doesn't have to be pretty. You can make it pretty if you want. You can get a little piping bag and pipe it in there. However, this is just convenient for me, easy cleanup. I don't have to worry about it. All right, so I'm gonna put these in the oven. Give me a sec. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, bake them according to your ovens. Um, or the package description, usually cookies are anywhere between 8 minutes to 14 minutes, depending. 14 minutes if you want an extra crispy one, 8 minutes if you like them softer. So I've already um, baked some of these so you can see how they turned out. They're about the size of the palm of my hand. Um, these I baked a little longer so they wouldn't fall apart while I was showing you how to do them. Plus some people like crunchy cookies. This one's not as cute. But you see, 
We've got our filling, which is the important part. What I'm gonna do now is I've got about half a cup of powdered sugar in here. We're gonna make a little drizzle for it because that's what the recipe said to do, so we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna slowly just add some water. This is my little Pampered Chef mini whipper. I love this thing because I don't have, my grandmother used to have this really cute baby whisk. I don't have one of those. Um, one day I'm gonna take her from her. <laughs> All right, so I added probably about a teaspoon of water, but honestly just add a little bit, mix your powdered sugar around because you don't want it too runny, but you want to be able to drizzle, okay? So I've got my little whisk. I've mixed that up. You can drizzle with this, but if you want to make more exact lines um, or measure how much is coming out, just grab a spoon. And what we're going to do is take our glaze. Now, some people add lemon juice to this. You can, if you're doing like a um, snickerdoodle or like a maybe one with an apple filling, you could throw some cinnamon in here, um, some apple pie spice, pumpkin pie spice. If you want to do pumpkin thumbprint cookies, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. There are tons of things you can play around with. So we're gonna drizzle, just drizzle right across the top. Really easy. I can't wait to try these. Now you may wanna make your um, glaze a little bit thicker. If you wanna make sure it dries hard. You can store these in the fridge if you want. It's up to you. They might dry out a little. Um, another little cookie hack in case you didn't know. If you have cookies and you don't want them to dry out overnight and they don't have a dairy based, like if I were to put milk in this or something, I might want to make sure they're refrigerated um, in the drizzle that is. Um, you can store them in Tupperware or like a Ziploc bag. And if you put a piece of bread in there, that bread will soak up it will add moisture to the cookies and kind of become dry and it feels like a piece of toast the next day and your cookies will stay moist. Sorry if you don't like that word. <laughs> so we got two more. I've got these over a little cutting board because I get glaze and drizzle everywhere. My husband calls me the flour fairy sometimes because if I have powdered sugar, flour, or anything, you're going to see it everywhere. Okay, that's it. That's all you do. And you've got these cute little drizzle thumbprint cookies. Um, if you make your glaze a little bit thicker, it won't be as much as little blobs on there. But I don't care. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deal with it. All right. Well, thank you all for joining me today on this little quick, like, eight-minute tutorial. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the Missy Stupert blog. You can find me at missystupers.com. That's where I have all kinds of, um, it's like a lifestyle blog, so you're going to find kitchen tips, money hacks. There's a mind, body, spirit category for those of you that want to get, you know, are thinking about fitness and stuff or are into spiritual things. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. So find me, you can email me, the missystupersblog at gmail.com. If you have any questions, Make sure you subscribe to my channel and join me for some more videos. Thanks.